Hey, what's up? Today we're out here hunting a Happy Pappy's action figure extravaganza, so let's go see what we can find. Alright guys, so we'll get it started off here at Happy Pappy's action figure extravaganza. This is a brand, brand, brand new store opening up in Canton, Ohio, guys. Definitely go check it out. You know, like I said, this shop is new, but the quality was awesome. It was rocking and a rolling. Uh, you can just see right here, the Vintage Star Wars selection was fantastic. You know, you go to a lot of, uh, you know, different vintage toy shops, uh, at least the ones I go to, and you just don't get to find this much depth and breadth of options. I mean, he had, you know, a little bit of every different toy line and a very good selection of them too. You guys know I'm a sucker for Kenner, and I love the superpowers figures. And this setup was just so cool to see. I mean, he has a really good selection there. Uh, I really like the mini comics displayed behind him there. I haven't really seen that done too much before in that way where it looked, it just looked really clean. It was nice. Um, I'm a I'm just a sucker for the Kenner figures, and you know those are really cool to check out. Yo Joe, um, he was also fully loaded up with Joes. And you know what the craziest part is, guys? You know, we're going around and you're seeing all this great selection. Um, little secret insider information for you there, guys. When I went and picked through his store, you know, and got to go see everything and, you know, go on my awesome toy hunt, it wasn't even really opened to open yet. He didn't even have his grand opening. So you already know it's going to have even more and better stuff when he has his grand opening. His grand opening is, is happening Saturday, February 1st, and he's putting on a whole shindig. He's having costume characters come in for photo ops. He's giving out freebies for the kids. He's having balloons, like custom balloons for his shop, which, you know, I love a good custom item. So, you know, I think that's a pretty unique thing to do. He's really going all out and having a great time. So, you know, make sure you check it out if you are in the Canton area February 1st. You know, guys, Marvel Legends is not something I'm into too heavy. But the selection here was pretty darn cool. He had some really awesome figures. I love this Netflix wave. Uh, mostly because I like the man thing, the build a figure there. But you know, look at the selection. Like, and it's just not he's just stuff peekabooing in here. Got the silver surfer. And you even got Cyclops, which is a really hard to come by figure. But you know, just a really great selection overall. That Imperial Godzilla right there is something I really debated on picking up for myself. Uh, it's a piece I've been wanting for a while. And it was a really good deal too for you know that figure. But I just really couldn't justify uh, you know buying that for myself right now. There was something pretty cool too, I thought, you know, a lot of stores I go to, not too many of them have a Dragon Ball Z section, so I thought I'd share that off here too and give that a little highlight. Here is one of my favorite parts, a whole wall of nothing but carded figures to go through. I mean, he had a ton of Star Wars, he had some Star Trek, I thought these uh, Tales from the Crypt figures right there were pretty cool to show off. He had some, you know, vintage 90s Marvel figures. He really did have it all on this wall. Especially some pretty darn cool Star Wars figures that tickled my fancy. Another very cool thing the shop had, guys, were Star Wars prototypes. Um, it's always cool to see those pre-production items. And, you know, in that same case, he had some very cool vintage Star Wars baggied items, as well as some baggy G.I. Joes. 
and you know Indiana Jones things. It was just really cool to get to see all that stuff. I mean, it was just such a good selection, and it was really all quality. I know I said it before, but it's true. It was a really good shop to check out. We're going to keep on hunting all these amazing toys, but also I thought it would be very cool to take a quick moment and hear from the owner himself. So, of course, the first question I had to ask him was what made him want to open up his own toy store? Well, the reason why I wanted to open a toy shop is because I've collected for so many years and I remember him when I was 25-ish, somewhere around there. I always thought there would be, or it would be amazing to own a toy shop, a record shop, a comic shop, you know, something like that. And then the next thing I asked him was, what was his goal now that he had his own store? Um, I would really like to see more kids coming in here. Obviously, I'm a collector-based uh, a toy shop, but I'm going to try to start focusing on having uh, toys, you know, that are modern day for for the actual kids. I'd like to see a lot more kids into toys uh, instead of just their iPads and video games. Uh, well, right now, social media. All I have is uh, Facebook, it's uh, Happy Pappy's Action Figure, and then I think my Instagram is the same thing, Happy Pappy's Action Figure, because obviously they couldn't uh, let me put extravaganza in there. It's, just, uh, it's a There's too much of an extravaganza. Right, right. There's too, mu too much toy here. But yeah, guys, that was Clifton, and he's a pretty cool dude. Definitely worthwhile to stop by and chit chat with him if you're a toy collector. And I mean, as you can see, his store is packing heat. One thing I really love about toy stores is, you know, especially vintage shops like this, is it's just kind of similar to a toy show, but it's there every day. And, you know, if you're lucky, your area will have a toy show once a month, maybe twice a month if you're in an area that's, you know, really high volume toy collectors toy shows. But a good brick and mortar store is there for you every day, you know, to help build that collecting community and scratch that collecting itch we all get every once in a while. Really thought that Nintendo set there was pretty cool. And you know, he also is packing a bunch of spawn figures. You know, spawn is something that you know, I say there's a lot of lines, you know, I'll be like, I really like him, but I never really got into him. Spawn's something that, you know, looks cool, but I just never really fully understood. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means so much to me. If you could take a moment right now to go down and smash that subscribe button, hit a like, and leave a comment to let me know what else you want to see. Your subscriptions really do make a difference. Thank you guys for your support. Have a great day, and may the force be with you.